I'm going to begin. I'm, I'm really enjoying the show so far. I'm interested to know, because obviously it's based upon such a kind of popular novel. How much did you use the kind of source novel as a reference point, if, if at all, in the, on this occasion? I, um, do you want to go first? Because she read the books before she started and was a before fan. Before I was even cast. Before I even know that it's going to be made into a series, I read the book. So definitely it has a it had a huge impact on me and I thought um, Three Body Problem series, they adapted so well, speaking of a fan, and I thought, wow, if they have such a great adaptation, then I might just give my whole heart and believe it. Yeah. And I'm a Philistine. I really did, I hadn't heard of it. I did not know anything about it, but once I was in, I was so in. Because the, the, the book and the script, the script takes the book and expands it. So the book is like, you know, a beautiful uh, potted plant, and then they planted it in the ground and grew it uh, larger to reach a wider audience. I'm interested to know if you guys kind of spoke to each other much to help map character to the other person's depiction of her to kind of understand what the other actor was was doing and what their routine was so you can kind of try and find a nice connection between the two performances well we met mm. on zine's yes. last day and, it was and my first, first day, day. Uh, so mm. we didn't talk mm. about it but i had seen all of zine's footage and was so inspired and wowed by her complexity mm. and um, also her demeanor was very different than how I had originally thought of Ye and so I definitely um, I thought it was richer and so mm. I, I definitely adapted uh, to um, Zine's, I almost said to Ye's performance, I definitely adapted to Zine's performance because I did not want to mess with that and then hopefully just you know uh, mm -hmm. grow her into a mature mm -hmm. woman gray hair the whole mm -hmm. thing Roz actually she was carrying a, carrying a complete arc on her own and I I throw that ball and she catches it and she did so well well I did have help because they sent me all of Zine's footage before we started. Mm -hmm. So Zine was already living in me before we started. Mm -hmm. So when I first met Zine, um, I felt like I already knew her so well. I, I, I knew her mannerisms, her, you know, her, you know, when you see somebody acting, you, you can kind of sense uh, their being. Mm -hmm. And so I think, um, and she laid the groundwork of a beautiful performance. So I wanted to do that justice as well. Um, it was really inspiring because she added complexity to it that, um, you know, I don't think anyone else could have done. Well, there you have it. <laughs> nice. But it must be quite surreal and quite weird in some ways that you you share this character so you share this project in a really kind of an emotional way that you both have to this kind of whole world but i guess you wouldn't have spent an awful amount of time together is it quite strange to be connected by something almost intangible if that makes sense we're uh, so here's the thing we look so much alike and mm. that was pure fate um she uh, rose Zee came in and saying like whoa you look just like my, my mom. When she was when younger. When she was younger. Um, yes. Like, Whoa, that, that's going to help a lot. So that, we have that physical similarity, but our personalities and, uh, you know, Zine was raised in, on, in the East. I was raised in the West. So mm -hmm. our personalities, the way we think is quite different. I am rational. I'm Emotional. emotional. <laughs> Thank you for answering. <laughs> I didn't think I'd reveal that much. You can already yeah. tell. Okay, so it's in my head and out my mouth. I keep secrets, but my own feelings is, and Zine processes it and is quite, um, uh, what would you say, cerebral? 
Cerebro, I am actually the type that don't process too much before I speak. What? It's just more that I, more, more um, rational. Yeah. And also, mm. Zine had this quality in her performance that gave, yeah, um, a bit of a, a mask when she needed it. And that was something that was really valuable to playing uh, yeah, later on, because there's so much is thrown at her that's quite, um, has a lot of depth and a lot of uh, betrayal. And I think, yes, yeah, set it up so that that mask pops up when there's too much feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!